was it the burden road yeah i gotta ask what, what was your mental state and what was your purpose of doing this song man you know what's so crazy every so often people will bring that song up they'll mention that song you know and it's all it always catches me by surprise when people mention that song because you know i feel like it is one of the more um underrated songs in my catalog but i try to make tracks like that from time to time that are telling the story but also are something to make people kind of think and consider that 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 does infuse some type of uh, principle or some type of lesson in, in the midst of it so yeah that was one of those ones but um i'm also a, a big fan of um the twilight zone i love watching the old school twilight zone tv show from the 60s and um rob certain would always create these weird concepts like that that would have some kind of uh right in it or some kind of uh Twist. Were there ever moments that you doubted that process of having concepts, having topics, talking about a message? Was was there ever a, process, a time point where you kind of doubted that process? No, 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 I never doubted that because I realized years and years and years back that storytelling had become or was becoming a lost part of rap. So i looked at it like an opportunity to, to to keep filling a void or to stay in a lane that not many people was driving in so i'm like i'm gonna keep telling keep dropping these stories because nobody is doing it and right. you know and not literally nobody it's still a handful of rappers but people are not telling stories like they used to in the rap so uh nah. i use it as a as an opportunity to uh to try to etch myself into the top 10 in terms right. of storytelling rappers, you know, I grew right. up listening to the Slick Ricks and and guys like that, you know, and hear people like Scarface and Ice Cube and guys who who really were great storytellers and, and rap, and um, you know, so I'm bred on that, I'm raised on that, and I'm right. not gonna ever stop. I just took it to a different kind of level because I wanted to be extreme in terms of the concepts of the stories and, and not just a basic story which i'll tell sometime but now yeah. i i've saw it as an opportunity because um i try to put at least two per album you know and to keep that going and and it validates my thought process when people like y'all ask me about the story so it's like okay yeah i, I need to keep keep doing it. who is the greatest rapper that ever came from the state of texas scarface yeah okay that's easy yeah, yeah. F Face is the guy who gave all of us um, a stamp, you know, because because when he branched out to the whole world and he was embraced, he was the first rapper from our region to be embraced by East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. Everybody loves Face. That's no region that looks. Oh man, I don't deal with Scott. Everybody loves him. So yeah. he was that guy who broke that stigma broke that 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 stereotype of rappers from down here don't have skills rappers from down here can't be lyrical rappers from down here can't tell dope stories you know he broke all that and that opened up a door along with the rest of the ghetto boys they opened up a door that allowed all of us to kind of walk on through because they took some they took some arrows um for us to be able to do what we did, what we're doing now, because you know, you go back to uh like say the ghetto boy, you hear Willie D talk about stories about getting booed at the Apollo back in the days and, and yeah. coming back a year later with a platinum album, you know, and, and, and get being accepted. They took a lot of the, the bullets, man, that we didn't have to take. So, you know, but artistically and what 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 he did for the uh, for the region is face all day. Look, now let me start my monologue Somebody asked if I was done, I said not at all Black power seen through eyes that a side of saw But every two weeks my crumbs come